Russian State Duma deputy named a new victim of his country. This is Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan may become a new victim of Russian aggression. This statement was allegedly made by Russian State Duma deputy Andriy Gurulev, who has the rank of Lieutenant General. According to the Telegram channel, Vichek OGPU, the politician named the new victim of the Russian Federation in a voice message that he sent to colleagues from the Defense Committee. The recording was leaked online. The Kazakhs, having seen enough of Ukraine, are very bitched that they are next. They are now getting ready. In principle, I think there is already a solution, said the deputy. Earlier, it became known that one of the largest banks in Kazakhstan, Halik Bank, stopped servicing Russian Mir cards from the end of February. It is worth noting that Kazakhstan is considered a state friendly to the Russian Federation. Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022 led some observers to assume that Kazakhstan would pivot its foreign relations away from Russia towards the West. The country has maintained an officially neutral position towards the war and no longer sees Russia as its security guarantor in the same way it once did. Kazakhstan frequently criticizes Russian-led regional economic integration efforts, but Kazakh business elites have enduring and lucrative ties with Russia and Moscow has other important economic leverage over its southern neighbor. Additionally, Russia now controls 25% of Kazakhstan's uranium production. Russia and China have a shared interest in seeing Kazakhstan become more integrated with their economies and move partly away from the West without fully closing a window to the unsanctioned world for Russia. Kazakhstan shares a 4,500-mile border with its northern neighbor, and decoupling their interdependent economies is not easy. US CIA warns of risk of war between Iran and Israel. The destruction of the Iranian consulate in Syria, which resulted in the deaths of dozens of senior Iranian officials and generals, risks escalating into a major war in the region. American intelligence CIA warned that within 48 hours, Iran could launch a military operation against Israel, reports Vox News. Earlier, senior officials in Iran reacted to the attack by stating that their country already has every right to respond to Israel's attack on their consulate, a Middle Eastern media outlet reported. Lebanese pan-Arab satellite news channel al Mayadin has stated that Tehran plans a combined drone and missile attack dubbed a rainstorm, launched from its bases targeting strategic sites within Israel. Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Khamenei published threats in Hebrew. With God's help, we will make the Zionists repent for the crime of attacking the Iranian consulate in Damascus, he wrote. On April the 1st, Israel launched a missile strike on the Syrian capital, Damascus. As a result of the attack, the Iranian consulate building was destroyed. One of the casualties in the attack was a senior commander of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, Mohammad Reza Zahedi. His name was included in the so-called blacklist of the United Nations, which consists of 15 high-ranking military and political figures of Iran suspected of involvement in Tehran's nuclear and missile programs and who are banned from leaving Iran. His death was arguably the most significant blow to Quds since its then-commander Qasem Soleimani was killed in a US-targeted assassination in January 2020 in Baghdad. After the incident, the Israel Defense Forces announced a call-up of reservists to strengthen its air defense system. This is not the first time that the Israel Defense Forces has struck Syria. In December, the Israeli army eliminated the senior advisor to the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, Syed Razi Musavi. Ukrainian troops have prevented another attack by the invading Russian army near Terny village in the direction of Lyman City in eastern Donetsk region. Artillery strikes were launched against the invaders who sought to advance with a convoy of tanks and other armored combat vehicles. As a result, the vehicles and manpower in the column were destroyed. A few surviving infantrymen tried to escape. It should be noted that Russian troops have stepped up attacks in Donetsk region in recent days. A convoy of 36 tanks and 12 infantry fighting vehicles of the Russian army advancing in the direction of Toninkoi village near Avdiivka city was destroyed by Ukrainian fighters. In addition, Russian troops launched an attack with armored vehicles near the village of Novo Mikhailovka. As a result, the vehicles in the convoy were destroyed, and the attack was prevented.